Hey everybody, what is up? My name is Deadman, and today we're going to look at the streaming from Xbox One to a Windows 10 PC. Uh, in order to do this, you need a couple of things first. Uh, your Windows 10 uh, build needs to be 10.130 or higher. You need to be in the Xbox One preview program, and you need to have a Xbox One controller uh, attached to your PC through USB or a wired 360 controller or a wireless 360 controller with the PC dongle. Now, I haven't tried, I don't have any other controllers, so I don't know if any other controllers will work, but you need to have a controller. If you do not, you'll get a message stating you do not have a controller plugged in. You also need to make sure you go to your Xbox settings and preferences. And in that list, check the box that allows streaming to other devices. All right, once all that is done, you're going to, you know, you want to stream. So we'll go down to our menu here, and then we're going to bring up our Xbox app. Oh, sorry. Oh, no thank you on that one. As you can see on the left side uh, of the screen, you got your home, messages, activity alerts, achievements, game DVR, store, the one guide, can connected, and settings. Well, you need to be on the connected one, which is right here connected to your Xbox Xbox One. I'm connected automatically no matter what. At the top you can see we have turn off, disconnect, test streaming, and stream. You can turn off and on your Xbox One via this app. You can also disconnect from your Xbox One. You can test your stream so you can figure out the settings that you want and streaming and this is the one we want to try. So let's go ahead and click on stream. As you can see, a blue screen pops up, connecting to Xbox One, and bam, there is Halo. It says my controller is disconnected. That is not true. Okay, we're moving around here. So we're moving around. You can see there's hardly no lag. Uh, I feel like there might be a little bit of delay, especially if you played multiplayer. I'm on the wireless end network. Uh, my Xbox is wireless, but my PC is wired. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to back out of this. Okay? We're going to go to. Well, I would say. dashboard but my dashboard does not seem to want to come up so that is an issue right now uh, I have the game launched but it doesn't want to bring up the dashboard so what we're gonna do is come up here at the top we can see all these informations here we can stop the stream uh, we have this right here but we also have which tells us our total bandwidth that we're using and I'm using uh, average about three megabytes per second to stream this game. There's the guide. I, my guide button wasn't working. It's a little stuck, so I had to do that manually. And we're just going to go through here. Now what you really want to do is, you know, go through your stuff, make sure everything is set up right. Uh, we'll go to, we're definitely going to go to settings so I can show you where to do this at. And you want to go to your preferences. It is under preferences. And then allow game streaming to other devices. And remember guys, if you like this video, please like and subscribe and I will catch y'all later. Yeah.